Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Today I'm bringing you a Trader Joe's cook and review on this chocolate peppermint loaf and baking mix. Y'all, it looks so holiday-ish. Wow, oh my gosh. Now I had a choice between doing the loaf or the cookie recipe. And y'all answered on my last Trader Joe's haul on whether you wanted the loaf or the cookies, and guess what? You know the cookies won. Believe me, I wish I had two boxes so that I could do a loaf and the cookies for you guys. All right, y'all, if you know my channel, if you don't know my channel, I do have a segment or a playlist called Trader Joe's Cooking Reviews where I take items that I find at Trader Joe's and make them for you and then also review them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this one here. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you how simple, easy, and hopefully very delicious that these cookies turn out to be. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you everything you're gonna to need to make these chocolate peppermint cookies. Now, you're gonna need one box of that mix. You're gonna need two eggs, and I always bring them to the room temperature. You're gonna need one third cup of oil or melted butter, which I have here, and then you're gonna need some powdered sugar, half a cup. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start putting my baking mix into my large bowl there. Now you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I've got my mixture in my bowl here. I'm gonna go ahead now and add my eggs and my butter, and then I'm gonna whisk it all together. All right, we're just gonna clean out our whisk here, get that all out of there, and then finish incorporating this. Okay, so it just takes a few minutes to incorporate everything all together. All right, that looks really good. Okay, so now our next process is to take a one inch cookie scoop, and then we're gonna run it into our dough here along the side and just kind of flatten it out. We're gonna place it into the palm of our hand, which is clean. We're just gonna roll into a ball and then we're going to take that and we're going to place it into the powdered sugar. Roll it around, completely cover it. And then we're going to place it on a parchment lined baking sheet. You can even place Silpat on here or just lightly grease your pan there. Alright, we're going to make sure these are two inches apart so that they can grow. Alright, let's go ahead and finish the rest of these off. So this yielded about 30 cookie balls on here. Now I'm going to place these in my oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 12 minutes. When I pull these out, I'm going to allow these to just rest on the pans for two minutes, pull them off and place them on a cooling rack until they are completely cool. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to try these for you. y'all I am back at you with 30 crackle cookies from this chocolate peppermint loaf and baking mix look at those and they did crack y'all all of them have those delicious crackling look with the powdered sugar all right I'm gonna taste one for you and tell you what the texture is like on the outside on the inside and what that flavor tastes like do we taste peppermint all right like a 
cake consistency, which it should be since it is like a cake mix. Oh, it's like ooey gooey on the inside. <laughs> mm. Okay, I do taste peppermint. Mmm. That's really good. That's, you know, like one of those mints that are chocolate covered. Mmm. That's what this tastes like right here. It's very delicious. It's soft on the inside, like a cake consistency, and it's kind of crunchy around the edges, which is a perfect cookie. All right, y'all, go get this box mix right here and make you some cookies. 30 cookies, one inch cookie scoop is what we used, so perfect. Cookie exchanges at home, decorating your tree. Y'all, these are for the holidays. All right, you know, comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted, like this one here. All right, I will see you on my next episode.